In 2011, Riot Games hosted the first Major League of Legends tournament. We have about 80 to 90 people sitting in front of us right now. Since then, many esports events have been held, and although majority have been successful, sometimes stuff happens. Five members strong. Twizzer Fate is trying to get towards this pit. Has his teleport available as we... Um, that didn't happen. From internet issues, computer problems, to sometimes even the players themselves having their own problems. Yeah, it looks like... There it is, bathroom break, baby. I mean, when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? Today we take a look back at times when esports events went through some sort of technical difficulties. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Professor. Getting into a game with Professor is like having an additional teammate on your team. One that you can actually rely on. This is a companion app for League of Legends that provides you with everything you need to be ahead of the competition. The app provides you with automatically importing the best runes for your champion, an in-game overlay letting you know how your performance is going, two jungle timers on the map letting you know exactly when both camps and inhibitors will respawn. And this is only a portion of what Professor can do for you. Even before getting into the game, Professor is giving you details about teammates and the enemy team that may help you maneuver the game into a victory. Professor is completely safe to use, it complies with Riot's terms, and you can start using it today for free with the first link in the description. One of the most notorious technical difficulties in esports history is the quarterfinals of Worlds in 2012. This was a best of three series between CLG and Team World Elite. CLG took game 1, World Elite took game 2, and the final game is where we run into problems. Game 3 went on for over 59 minutes until the internet stopped working. CLG! This was kind of a disaster. Angry players, angry viewers, and unfortunately due to the circumstances, all they could do was fix the internet and have the game played all over again. And so they did. But 25 minutes after the game was restarted, the internet stopped working again. Riot would spend the next hour or even more trying to fix the issue while only running into more problems. To which the decision was made to just end the show. One of Riot's co-founders, Brandon Beck, stepped on stage to deliver the bad news. However, for the fans that stuck through all the technical issues, they were rewarded with free pizza, merch, and even free Riot points. Be patient with us today. I want to talk about what we're going to do for you guys, the live audience. Uh, we're going to be yeah. refunding your tickets. I'm sure you don't care about that, but we're going to be refunding your tickets. We're going to be giving you guys $25 in Riot points. <laughs> Now interesting to note, after all these years, things like this still happen. Just recently, in September of 2022, a match was delayed for over two hours due to audio issues. During a best of five LCS playoff match between Evil Geniuses and TSM, an audio issue was discovered during game two and the game was paused seven different times, causing a 36 minute game to last over an hour and after the game concluded, LCS engineers came out and took two hours to attempt to fix the issue while players waited in the back and viewers waited at home. And the worst part was that after two hours, the issue wasn't even fixed. But after waiting for so long, both teams just agreed to play on regardless of the audio problems. Touching Grass The universal meme created to tell gamers to go outside. Well, Riot agrees, and on occasion, Riot has hosted some of their major tournaments outside. But as you can imagine, this can lead to some problems. In the 2012 World Quarterfinals, which we just spoke about, an issue that quickly became evident was the sun getting in the player's and caster's eyes. You could see that later on, the casters were wearing hats to cover their eyes. But mistakes happen, and Riot will learn to never try this again. Nope, they went on to host at least a couple more major tournament stages in outside venues. Nine years after the Season 2 Sun problems, in the 2021 LCS Mid-Season Finals, Riot ran into the exact same issue. They hosted this final in an outside venue, kind of looked like one big open tent. 
This resulted in the players complaining that they couldn't see the screen properly due to the sun being both in their eyes and creating glares on the screen. One of the players later said, The venue, the whole playing outside, having the sun in your eyes, the breeze blowing once in a while, it just feels like this whole thing was a bit of a failed experiment. I do have to mention that recent uses of outside venues were mostly in response to the pandemic situation. And to be fair, when done right, it can look pretty cool. This was the Brazilian League's final in 2020 hosted on top of a building. Although I'm sure that setup had the same screen glare issues, but at least it looked cool. Nice. Moving along, like I mentioned earlier, sometimes the game stops working, but on occasion, it is the player themselves that stops working. In a previous video, we discussed emergency bathroom breaks. When everything's on the line and nature calls, nature comes first. <laughs> Toilet issue. Are you serious? <laughs> Why are we calling it that? Some things to note, once a pause is initiated, whether it be for a technical issue or abnormal bowel movements, the players on stage are not allowed to talk to each other. This is to prevent these pauses from being used as a sort of timeout where players can pause the game and plan their next move. Bang, he's reading about one of our sponsors <laughs> what here. What is happening? It's like, oh, what is this drink all about? Oh, let me take a sip. Oh, it's not half bad. These pauses are labeled differently for the audience, however, often referred to as nature calls or toilet issues. But interestingly enough, the official LCS rules do not mention bathrooms, washrooms, or any wording of that sort. So it seems bathroom breaks are not encouraged. The only section it could really fall under is where that a player can request a referee to pause the game if the player is feeling ill. Though on the other hand, players do sometimes pause the game due to feeling unwell. Or unwell. Recently, a player in the LPL paused the game after performing a pretty bad play. And it's fair to be skeptical here if the player is actually sick or wants an excuse for why he played so poorly. Are they actually going to go for a dive here? No, cast a wide on the queue. As his uh, safeguard to Ooh, protect uh... his mid laner is hung. An aggressive flash in there. Shaohu surviving as Carson just takes him down. Hung. I mean, he saw the play. Oh, 100 damage off. Oh, boy. And Carson, look at him. Look at the camera. On the camera as the pause comes out. He's like, yeah, I'm sure it's a bug, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like you got an update for us. What is yeah. Apparently, Hung feels sick. Which is why the game has been paused. I'm going to be honest. If I'd pulled off that play, I'd be feeling a little bit sick as well. Uh, <laughs> These are just some of the more interesting times when esports events ran into issues. But realistically, there's countless moments that even I'm probably not aware of. But we send off with some honorable mentions. An entire game remade because a player picked the wrong skin, a player pausing the game because his foot fell asleep, Riot said, we don't authorize pauses for that, so he's received a warning. And of course, requesting to pause the game because your chair was uncomfortable. Looks like we actually will have a short delay as there was a pause. Not sure what the issue is. We'll let you guys know as soon as possible. Apparently, Wolf wants a new chair. I didn't know you could ask for that. <laughs> 